This is the life cycle of JC virus. JC virus belongs to the genus of viruses known as the polyoma viruses. These are non-enveloped small DNA viruses with icosahedral capsids. JC virus capsids contain small circular DNAs. It is estimated that up to 80% or more of the population harbors JC virus through early infection in childhood through contaminated material. The early childhood infection is usually subclinical. JC virus can infect a variety of tissue cells, including kidney cells. JC virus remains dormant until the host is immunocompromised. HIV patients have a high incidence of JC virus-related PML, or progressive multifocal leukoencephalopathy. Once the immune system is suppressed, JC virus shows a tropism for glial cells. JC virus binds to the sialic residue, acid residues of the glial cells and enters the levodendrocyte by endocytosis. Once JC virus has entered the cell, JC capsids are transported to the nucleus where the viral DNA is uncoated. And then transcription of the early region begins. This is followed by transcription of the late regions, which include the capsid proteins VP1, VP2, and VP3. The capsid proteins with the viral DNA form intranuclear virions, and JC begins assembly. This is an artist's interpretation of assembly. Once JC, assembly, once JC is assembled, the cell lyses and the JC virions are released from the oligodendrocyte. Now the virions are free to spread throughout the central nervous system. Once they spread throughout the CNS, they cause the demyelination of the axons of neurons. Demyelination causes severe neurological disturbances. If enough neurons are affected by the JC virus, the fatal condition of PML will result. <laughs>